Have you ever wondered if there's a sex position that could increase your chances of conceiving a child? It's a question that's been asked by countless couples throughout the ages, and one that's given rise to a myriad of myths and misconceptions. So let's unravel this myth, shall we? When it comes to conception, it's quite common to hear that certain sexual positions are more conducive to pregnancy than others. Some believe that gravity-assisted positions can help the sperm reach the egg faster and thus increase the chances of conception. Others subscribe to the idea that deeper penetration can lead to a higher likelihood of pregnancy. However, it's important to point out that these are just theories, and the truth is a bit more complex. You see, conception is a process that's influenced by a multitude of factors. It's not just about the physical act of sex, but also about the timing, the health of both partners, and even the quality and quantity of the sperm and egg. While it's true that the sperm needs to reach the egg in order for fertilization to occur, the position in which sex is performed doesn't have a significant impact on this journey. The human body is designed in such a way that the sperm can swim upstream, regardless of the position. Moreover, the chances of conception are more significantly affected by factors such as the woman's ovulation cycle, the overall health of the couple, and the quality of the sperm and egg. It's also worth mentioning that stress can play a role in conception. If a couple is overly focused on the mechanics of sex and conception, it can lead to stress, which can actually hinder the process. So, while it's natural to wonder if there's a magic position that can boost your chances of conceiving, the reality is that it's more about the overall picture. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into some of the most common misconceptions about conception. It's time to debunk some common myths about conception. Firstly, let's tackle the widespread belief that certain sex positions can increase the odds of conception. This myth suggests that positions which allow for deeper penetration will facilitate the journey of the sperm to the egg. However, science tells us a different story. The fact is, sperm are innately designed to swim upstream against gravity, regardless of the position in which they were introduced. These microscopic swimmers are hardwired to locate and reach the egg, and they do so with remarkable precision, irrespective of the initial point of entry or orientation. Another common misconception is that lying down after sex can help the sperm reach the egg. This belief is based on the assumption that gravity will somehow assist the sperm in their journey. While it may sound logical at first, once again, science begs to differ. Sperm are not passive particles that are subject to the whims of gravity. They are active swimmers equipped with a tail, technically referred to as a flagellum, which propels them towards their goal. So whether a woman stands up, sits down, or does a handstand after intercourse, it doesn't significantly influence the sperm's trajectory or chances of reaching the egg. In reality, conception is a complex process that depends on a variety of factors, including the health and quality of both the egg and sperm, the timing of intercourse in relation to ovulation, and the overall reproductive health of the woman. No particular sex position or postcoital behavior can guarantee conception. It's important to remember that while these myths may offer a sense of control over an inherently unpredictable process, they can also lead to unnecessary stress and disappointment. Therefore, it's better to focus on maintaining good overall health, understanding one's reproductive cycle, and seeking professional advice when needed. As we can see, there's no scientific basis to these myths. With the myths out of the way, it's time to delve into the actual factors that influence conception. Firstly, let's talk about the role of healthy sperm. The journey to fertilize an egg is a long and arduous one for sperm. A single ejaculation may contain up to a hundred million sperm, but only a handful will make it to the egg. This is why it's crucial for the sperm to be healthy and vigorous. Factors such as lifestyle, diet, and overall health can significantly influence sperm health. Next up is ovulation timing. Understanding your menstrual cycle can significantly boost your chances of conception. A woman's egg is only fertile for 12 to 24 hours after it's released. However, sperm can survive in the woman's body for up to five days. This means that having intercourse in the days leading up to ovulation can increase your chances of conception. 
Lastly, we must consider overall health. Conception isn't just about the sperm meeting the egg. It's about the body being able to support a pregnancy. Factors such as stress, diet, and lifestyle can all impact your fertility. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and good sleep hygiene can all contribute to a healthy body ready for conception. It's important to remember that conception is a complex process that involves many factors. While sexual positions might make the process more enjoyable, they do not have a significant impact on your chances of conceiving. The health of the sperm, timing intercourse around ovulation, and maintaining overall good health are far more influential. So instead of worrying about the right position, focus on these factors. Ensure a healthy lifestyle for both partners, understand the woman's menstrual cycle, and aim for regular intercourse, particularly in the days leading up to ovulation. Understanding these factors can help couples focus on what truly matters when trying to conceive. Now let's shift our focus to fertility and its role in conception. Think of fertility as the foundation of conception. It's the soil in which the seed of life is planted. And as with any garden, the healthier the soil, the better the chance of a seed flourishing. So what can we do to create a healthy environment for conception? Firstly, it's crucial to maintain a balanced diet. Food is fuel for our bodies, and the right nutrients can significantly boost fertility. For women, foods rich in folic acid like leafy greens and citrus fruits are particularly beneficial. Men, on the other hand, can benefit from fruit rich in zinc and selenium, like lean meats and nuts. Exercise is another key component. Regular physical activity can help regulate hormones, improve blood circulation, and increase stamina, all of which play a part in conception. However, it's important to strike a balance. Over-exercising can put the body under stress and may actually decrease fertility. So, listen to your body and be mindful of its needs. Now, let's talk about harmful substances. Smoking, excessive alcohol, and recreational drugs can all negatively impact fertility in both men and women. Smoking, for instance, can damage the DNA in both sperm and eggs. Alcohol, on the other hand, can affect hormone regulation, while recreational drugs can have a variety of detrimental effects on fertility. And remember, it's not just about what you should avoid, but also what you should do. Regular checkups with your healthcare provider, managing stress, getting enough sleep, and staying hydrated are all essential for maintaining optimal fertility. As we wrap up this segment, let's reiterate an important point. Fertility isn't just a woman's concern or a man's issue. It's a shared responsibility. Both partners play a crucial role in creating the right conditions for conception. It's about teamwork, understanding, and taking care of each other's health. Remember, fertility is a two-way street and both partners play a crucial role. As we wrap up, let's summarize the key points we've covered. We've journeyed through the maze of myths and misconceptions surrounding conception, shining a light on the truth behind it all. The fact is, there's no magical sex position that guarantees conception. This, my friends, was our first myth debunked. It's not about acrobatics in the bedroom, but rather about the health of both partners, their lifestyle choices, and the timing of their intimate moments. Being in good health enhances fertility, making conception more likely. This includes maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding harmful substances such as tobacco and excessive alcohol. Lifestyle choices matter too. Stress can affect fertility, so finding ways to manage daily stressors can be beneficial. Quality sleep, relaxation techniques, and perhaps even a vacation could be helpful. Remember, it's about creating an environment conducive to conception. Then comes timing. Understanding a woman's menstrual cycle is crucial for optimal timing of intercourse. The few days leading up to and including the day of ovulation are considered the fertile window. This is when the chances of conception are highest. We also tackle the misconception that certain behaviors post intercourse, such as lying with your legs up, can increase the chances of conception. In reality, sperm can reach the cervix within minutes and are not affected by gravity or position. While all these factors can influence conception, it's important to remember that every couple's journey is unique. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. It may take time, and that's okay. Patience and persistence are key. While the journey to conception can be complicated, 
Understanding the science behind it can help couples make informed decisions. Remember, every couple's journey is unique, and what matters most is supporting each other through the process.